It is a feminist art piece, and it deals with so the, all of the famous women in history. These are their names on the floor, and the most important ones are up here. This is 49 feet by 49 feet by 49 feet. So that would almost cover your width of your football field. Um, what's fascinating is these main dinner plates are vaginas. They're very beautiful, but they're vaginas. And so it's all feminist uh, movements. And Judy Chicago is huge in the art world. This is a cycladic piece. What do we know about the cycladic art? Nothing. We just know there's lots of it. We just don't know anything about it. And there's no records. And then the Diplon vase, one of the most famous of all of the base, bases that we have. It's in your book. You can read about it. Uh, these pots contain all kinds of information about events, races, political things, uh, also, daily life, how to um, uh, spin a top, how they play checkers, games, all kinds of things. Everything. We know more about their daily life from pottery. And that's true about all cultures, because most of the other stuff is gone. Fibers and things are, have rotted. And so we know a lot about most cultures from their pottery. But the Greeks, very fortunately, put everything on their potters. Uh, on their pots, how they had sex, everything else. Um, and this is Wallendorf, Venus of Wallendorf. She's about 3,500 years old. She's a fertility symbol and very, probably the most famous uh, female fertility symbol in the world. And she, along with uh, Venus, uh, Venus de Milo and the Winged Victory and Mona Lisa, they're, they're pretty important though. This is an Italian piece of ceramic. It's a tin glaze, and it's uh, uh, a uh, Majelica style. It's about six. The white comes from the tin. It's all hand painted and glazed. It's pretty amazing pieces. This is the Chartres Cathedral. Remember, this thing is huge. This is a six-story building here, and you have the flying buttresses with the piers on the end. It's Gothic style, and it has seven and a half acres of stained glass in it. This is the Taj Mahal by Shah Jahan for his wife, Ajumin Binu, Binu, Binu. and um, uh, it was a mosque built in her behalf, kind of like a... Mausoleum. Mausoleum. Yes. Can you say our last one again? What was it called? Taj Mahal. It's, that one's in your book, too. And this is the Sphinx. This was carved out of a mountain, and it was painted. And the pyramid directly behind it, they think, is the same uh, pharaoh that had this built. They don't know for sure. But the pyramids are used for what? Funerary purposes. And uh, so this is Pointe de Garde. This is in France. This is an aqueduct. That top part ran water into Paris. Remember, wherever the Romans went, they built waterways. If this was just a bridge here, it would be called a viaduct. And in some cities, we still refer to the overpasses as viaducts. This is a post and lintel. It's the Lion Gate going into uh, the Minoan or the Mycenaean outside of it. This lintel weighs a hundred tons. And this is one of the most famous of all of the gates. Huge. And this is Panini's painting of the Pantheon, which was built for all of the gods. These are called coffers. This is your oculus, which is about 29 or 30 feet in diameter. And this would have been full of bronzes, even bronzes up in here. And they were all taken out later by Bernini uh, after Pope Julius II <clears throat> had taken most of them out to build cannons. They called him a barbarian. They said, down all of that. 
that art to make cannons, Yuan Ku. And so he gave him back one cannon. And it's the altarpiece inside St. Peter's Basilica. And of course, uh, Bernini ran out of bronze, and the only place he could get bronze was take the others out of the Pantheon. The Pantheon was, you already know about Mona Lisa, and hopefully all of you know about David. He's 14 foot tall. From here up, there's another four foot pedestal under him. So, uh, the symbol of Florence. And this is uh, the painting done by Raphael. It's in the Pope's quarters. It's his library. And nowadays it's not, but uh, too many people going through there every day, all day long. Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Raphael, uh, local people being Greek philosophers. This is the um, famous Gaberti door, and the Gaberti door is 18 foot tall. It is made out of bronze and then gilded. This is Gaberti here. This is his second set of doors on the building. Michelangelo called them the gates of paradise when he saw them. And, and uh, they're the east doors. This is a...